Hello guys, back again. And I know I've concentrated on the video a lot. I've kind of ignored the NVIDIA Shield. There really has been a lot of news. You know, originally you just thought, oh, this is going to be a clone to other stuff. But basically, first of all, the Android-based handheld uh, gaming system, Shield, will receive a temporary price cut for April, cutting at 50 bucks to 199 Just for April, the system will cost 199 Now, the reason for this cut is a company with the new features they're adding in the new sub, uh, system update to the system next week, including a new user interface for the Shield's button mapping feature. This addition lets players use Shield's physical buttons for touch-based games on Google Play Store. So you'll actually be able to play Google Play touch-based games with a controller, which that cannot be a bad thing. If you want to play the touch-based games on a controller with the Shield, you can do this. Now, also, they will also going to be adding a beta version of its away from home gaming, game streaming, which is probably one of the coolest features, uh, support features, which basically allows players to remotely play PC games on their Shield, waking up and logging into a locked PC while on the go. Additionally, the update will add Bluetooth keyboard and mouse support for those who want to hook up their Shield up to a TV and play on a bigger screen. And so lastly, the, the Shield will receive the latest version of the Android operating system named KitKat version 4.4.2. So all these are really cool things. To me, the, the actual, like, from game streaming from home thing, where you can actually, like, remotely play your PC games on your Shield from anywhere is a really cool feature for someone who's tech savvy and on the go, right? If you're like, you know what, I'd really love to play those PC games I have on my handheld. Well, now you can. This, of course, all relies on, obviously, one very simple thing, is it has to, the, the thing they don't talk about here is how you do that. And, obviously, in order to do this, you must, it must connect up to your, obviously, some kind of your connection. Maybe it's your cell phone connection or what, but it's got to hook up to something in order to stream from your home. Of course, you probably would have to be on a Wi-Fi spot. Or something like that or tether from your cell phone I imagine for this to work properly uh, on the go you had to be somewhere where obviously they had that and in a day and age where there are more and more spots to free get wife go to Wi-Fi or you know your cell phones work almost anywhere these days this this like barrier of, of making stuff like this streaming on the go is becoming more a reality and we will get to a day where basically Wherever you go, you can do whatever you want. I've always had the opinion, I know satellite radio is a big thing right now, but I always thought eventually your car is going to be replaced, satellite radio is going to be replaced with internet radio somewhere down the road. Of course, that could be far away. There's still a lot of, of things to me, to me worried about because we can all talk about how our internets go up and down and they're not consistent. That could be very well years away. But it is cool, they are, they're updating to new Android, so they're not staying behind. They're not using old you know, obviously old operating systems and technology, like a lot of the other systems that come out do, and they get the advantages from that. Of course, you could say there could be problems because of that. And what do you think about the fact that they're dropping the price 50 bucks for their new features? This is something I think would be cool for actually a lot of products to do. Hey, you know, we got these new features. we really like you to buy our product and try it out. You know what we're going to do? We're going to drop the price because that's we believe you'll like it after you try our product. And to be honest, this product needs as much publicity as it can get right now because it does seem to get ignored, obviously more than like the Ouya and other uh, products out there. But what do you think about the price job for the new features? What do you think about the fact that you'll be able to actually map, you know, map your, your uh, Shield buttons to play Google Play Touch games on the Shield? What do you think about the fact you're going to be able to beta test and beta version of the live streaming from home where basically you can play any... PC game on your home computer at home for on your shield on the go. We'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions, and thank you guys for favoring, liking, and subscribing. I really do appreciate it, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Later.